Ready? Part two. So now that we've shaded three parts out of four parts, that is this. This is our three-fourths. <clears throat> Remember our five holes that we did? We're going to go ahead and shade those lightly because they're all there. And what we've just shown is five and three-fourths. These are shaded and these little parts are shaded. Now, this is a mixed number. We're going to show you how to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. Here's what we do. Here's the secret. How many parts was this broken into? This is broken into four parts, see that? This is broken into four parts, that's why that's our four there. We're gonna break all these into four parts and we do it very simple and very quick. Okay, here we go. All of these get broken into four parts. How many parts? Four. How many parts? Four. How many parts? Four. How many parts? four, and how many parts? Four. Okay. We still have the same amount, but we've broken all these whole circles into parts now. And here's all you have to do. Count up all your parts. Here we go. I'll count with you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. We have 23 parts, and each of the parts was a quarter. Each of these little parts was a quarter. Every one was a quarter, so we put down four down here. And so, our answer is five and three-fourths, is equivalent or equal to 23 parts out of four, okay? And that's how we visually show it. And in the next part, I'm gonna show you how we do it mathematically. And a lot of kids like it mathematically because it's quick and it's easy, but all students should be able to show them using this here. So I'll show you the second way to do it. Pause.